All right, okay. We're back in old blue. I'm gonna quickly get my load ready to leave with in a couple of days. I'm gonna be at home for a couple of days, got a whole bunch of errands to run and work to do in the house, get ready for the baby, work on the nursery, you know, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna be working on that. But in the meantime, I want my next load, it's already in the yard, I want it to be tied down and ready to go so that I can just go, when it's time to go, I can just go hook up and take off. We are looking for trailer 529. Reels, I wonder if this is it? That would be nice, it's already tied down. 529, 113, shoot. Won't be that. 529 will be a flatbed too. That was 113. That was a step there. I think this will be it right here. Will be my reels. 529. That's it. And it's not tied down. Nope. Just the first and last one, just to make sure they don't roll away. Well, I'm gonna tie that down, secure, get it all ready to go right now, so that when I'm actually leaving with this, I can just hook up and go. kind of hoping it would still be tied down but <laughs> that's not the way things go around here now we all have our own equipment like all my equipment is my equipment so if I brought this here like these were picked up in Saskatchewan if I pick them up I take my equipment back because it's my equipment the next driver uses his equipment and that way if the load is tied down it's his load securement right and if anything happens it's his fault not mine because he tied it down I didn't tie it down, then he just drove away with the way I can. You get it, right? You get it. All right. Well, it's not gonna tie itself down. 11 chains and these two straps, that's what it's gonna take. These were already on here. I'm gonna remove them for now so that I can get to that hole in the center. Got my chains over here already. I'm gonna do two chains here. Chain, 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 chain. Two chains at the back. Each one of these reels looks like it's about 900 kilograms each, which is 2,000 pounds. So we're looking at about 4,000 to 4,200 pounds per. So our load securement should be good. And I'm using our tarping station here at our yard. We have these sticks here, right? I have one over here that I'm using long stick see it's got a hook on the end that's why I got to move the strap out of the way so first of all what you do here is you take this long stick with that hook you stick it through there it's easy to do it from up on the platform here can you can get at eye level when you're on a flatbed through there and you can make sure it pokes all the way through and you walk around to the other side it's a lot of walking in flatbedding. You walk around to this side, you walk around to that side. So I got all my equipment here already, waiting, working our way back from the front. And I've just got, I've got this front one done already. Now I'm working my way onto this one. And now you see the hook came through there. So I'm going to take the chain, it's a little bit high, but here, just hook that on there, like that. And then you walk back around to the other side, like I said, lots of walking. We're not door swingers, we're flatbed haulers. Now that we're back here, go back up the steps make it a little easier grab onto this and you just pull it through like that there you go see it's easy enough I could do it with one hand so I'll show you how these binders work they're called bear traps some people like the ratchet binders better I like these bear traps better but you got to make sure that you have these to secure them just in case. I've never ever had one pop open, 
never heard of it happening but of course it's happened to somebody so you've got to have those locks on there then to make sure that, that doesn't pop open i'll show you how they work i'm just doing this one here right now you see you open it up and you hook the top one as high up as you can get it and you stretch it out when it, that goes up this thing stretches out you hook this on down here and then this should be pretty tight right i could never do this just with my own strength like this wouldn't happen so if i put you down over here i'll show you how i do it so this is your wrench or your strap bar whatever you want to call it why can i not think of the word for it right now winch no vice no there's a special name for this bar. I'm drawing a blank right now. Anyways, this tightens the straps usually, right? On this end, right? You ever wonder what this end's for? It's for the chains. Watch. So this goes in through the back and hooks in there like this. You see? And it's hooked in there, okay? Then, okay, so that's too loose. Sometimes it's hard to find just the right tightness with these. That's why people like the ratchet binders better. I totally understand that. I like them too for that reason. But maybe I'm a little old school. I like the, I like the bear traps. I like the danger. Those things could whip open and smash your teeth out at any moment if you're not careful. I like living on the edge, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes it's, you don't want to take too much, you don't want to take too little. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to get this one. Yeah, here we go. Get this out of the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just so much of a better feeling when it snaps into place than the ratchet ones give you. Something. Right? There we go. We'll put the lock on there like that. So that it can't fly open on us. Now I can put my face right here. I don't have to worry about it smashing my face because it's got the lock on it. So I'll quickly explain to you my method of how I'm training these down. Sometimes you can use straps through the center ones as long as you use chains on the front ones and the back ones. But since I'm going a little ways with these, uh, I'm using all chains. I don't want to mess around, right? These things are not going anywhere. Not on my watch anyway. They're only going where I'm going to tell them to go. They will obey. So the front one always gets two, right? And the way I have these chains, this one's slightly off center and this one's more off center, right? We want to pull the one this way so that it doesn't roll into my cab if I have to slam on the brakes, okay? Then this one, this chain I have slightly off center. It's pulling it against this here. So these two are locked together. They're holding each other in place and holding each other down. Plus there's dunnage here holding them in place, it's not going anywhere. Then I do the same thing with like these two here. See that one's a little off center, that one's a little off center, it's holding those two together. I'll do the same here, hold those two together, and hold those two together, and then two chains on the back one. One slightly off center to the back, and then one more, more much more at an angle, holding it on that way so it doesn't roll off, right? And they're all touching. They're all exactly the same size and they're all touching. So in order for one of these center ones to roll off, the back one would have to roll off and all of them behind it would have to, then they're all pinned together, right? Even though I'm chaining like two, to, like two together at a time, this one here and that one there, even though these two are pinned together and those two are pinned together, the load is so tight on the trailer that this is still touching here too. So there's absolutely no way for it to wiggle. So these chains are rated at 6,500 pounds each and it's holding in place, like I said earlier, uh, about 
4,000 pounds. That's the way I do it. Old blue is running, so that's a good sign, means we're done. So we got the two chains plus the strap holding it down in between that dunnage on the front and the back. And all along here, got every single roll chain down. We are ready to rock. So we're definitely not leaving today, but I got it done now because I'm going home for over 36 hours, which is a reset. In the US, you only need 34 hours to reset, I realize. But in Canada, it's a 36 hour reset. So now that this is tied down and it meets my requirements, I'm gonna park it, I'm gonna go and do my reset, and then I'm gonna come and hook up and go. I don't have to waste time on my next 70 hours tying it down. See what I did there? I'm trying to save time for next week. Oh. Let's go. I don't know how fast you guys are, but uh, let's see, that took me an hour and 39 minutes. Probably not the fastest, but I'm not the slowest. So that's how I chain down my reels. Now you see sometimes guys, like I said, put straps on the center uh, reels, which when it comes to weight wise, it works. This is only about 4,000, maybe 4,500 pounds. Uh, with the two reels and each strap is rated at 5,400 pounds. So really you only need a strap in there. But I'm taking this load into Ontario. Uh, it's gonna be two days drive. It's a little bit further than I usually go. And I wanna make sure that these things aren't gonna go anywhere. I don't wanna take any risks because a strap could fray, it could break. There's no way a chain is gonna fray. And it's very unlikely that it would break. They're rated at a lot more weight like i said 6500 pounds per chain these reels aren't going to go anywhere with those chains on there and i don't have to worry about going through these two lane highways in ontario and having one reel fly off into oncoming traffic or something and it's a big mess a lot of paperwork so i'm gonna be home for a couple of days yet a uh, day or two but i already explained it i went and picked that load up now and tied it down now so that I can have my reset on my logbook and start. All I gotta do is go hook up to the trailer and go now. As long as no one messes with it. But you know, I'll check it before I leave, obviously. But no one's gonna touch it. Uh, hook up and go. And I don't have to spend part of my, my 70 hours from next week tying that down. Because like I said, it took an hour and what did I say, 39 minutes? Just over an hour and a half. Oh. Hey. Excuse me. I wanna leave early in the morning. I don't have to worry about doing that. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in my next video.